two films aimed at the tween market have plenty to offer everyone. Jordan, to everyone else, you're a child, so you have to start acting like it. Get back to work. Little, a Freaky Friday comedy, stars blackish daughter Marseille Martin as the younger version of a woman who reverts to her former self when adulting becomes too difficult. What? Child Protective Services? Enroll like Freaky Friday, it lets us see how an adult might act in kids' situations. More important, it represents Martin's debut as a producer. The 14-year-old came up with the idea and helped shepherd it to the big screen. She does a dandy job, too, capturing many of Regina Hall's quirks. The two match nicely and make us see life from a different view. Little isn't overly original, but it is a fun experiment. Perhaps it's the start of something big for its young star. And speaking of big, there's Missing Link, an animated look at an investigator's desire to find the missing link between man and ape. He goes to the Pacific Northwest to look for answers, and sure enough, he finds Mr. Link, a creature with more than a few issues. Hugh Jackman plays Sir Lionel Frost, the investigator, and Zach Galifianakis is Mr. Link. Throw in Zoe Saldana, Emma Thompson, and Timothy Oliphant, and there's a lot to watch besides the stop-motion animation. Written and directed by Chris Butler, one of the talents behind Kubo and the Two Strings, Missing Link isn't as neat as that film or as mesmerizing, but it does have its charms, particularly when it aims for around the world in 80 days jauntiness. Um. And finally, how do you improve on an Oscar winner's work? Well, that's the question Neil Marshall tries to answer with the latest installment of Hellboy. In the new reboot, Stranger Things star David Harbour plays the title character, an otherworldly crime fighter who joins forces with other outcasts to battle a sorceress who just wants her own brand of justice. Mila Jovovich and Ian McShane co-star, but if this doesn't uphold the style of original director Guillermo del Toro, expect a fan revolt like no other. It's a gamble. But that's how Hellboy rolls. Unpreviewed, which is never a good sign, this is either going to be very good or very bad. Hellboy is a man of extremes, not a paragon of restraint. With your Movies in a Minute, I'm Bruce Miller.